charge, and very powerful like discharge. Uh, I suggest we go after this guy first, and try to not be within melee combat. Whoa! Thanks a lot, Dreadroot, uh, says Dreadroots, jerks. So, we were able to kill that guy without really even... Okay, you're gonna die? Good. Because I don't want to be fighting that guy for too long. He can really drain your HP down. Uh, we're gonna... Yeah, we're just gonna run around a little bit so that our all of our discharges can recharge. And... We should be uh, leaving this place pretty soon. As soon as I get the... Uh, wire strand... We should just be able to go. And never come back here. I mean, technically we'll uh, come back here with another character. And here is a weird artifact. Uh, I can guarantee to you guys it is a grenade, judging by its image. When we were about to pick it up. It is a stun gas grenade. There are so many types of grenades in this game, it's ridiculous. And most of them are not so nice. Or at least not with this setup. Uh, there are different grades of grenades like this one's mark one probably because we got it so early in the game but higher grade grenades can be very powerful and enemies with grenades can be very dangerous to you which is obnoxious i mean you look at them and like oh this guy, this guy is not so strong i'm 10 levels above it or 10 levels above what i would normally be when i fight this guy look at this this is this guy is hurting us a lot um and then they throw a grenade at you and you lose 30 HP, okay, probably not 30, but you lose tons of HP, and you already didn't have so much HP because of something, and then you run into a rustation that pisses me off. Uh, yeah, I don't like rustations. You're gonna die, Mr. Rustation. Uh, one thing you can do that actually with rustations is possess them. I think I'm actually gonna do that. No. Um... What was that? I don't think it rusted anything. It did not rust anything. Okay. Uh, ironically, they can rust your uh, the wire strands that you pick up here. A little obnoxious. More than a little obnoxious. So we don't want to let... Well, we killed it. Never mind. I was going to say we don't want to let it uh, bring our HP2 down because uh, if it gets a critical hit, it can hit us for 8 HP or something like that, as has happened to my guy before when I thought it was safe to... F uh, fight for another couple of rounds before healing with a uh, witchwood bark but luckily we were able to kill it so oh well and now we should be trying to leave so let's leave run away run away uh... the little uh, pathing thing doesn't work if there are enemies in the way another reason why it's good to kill jilted lovers and stuff that mess with oh did we just we just got attacked by a uh, young ivory let's kill that, ba that uh, jerk that bad guy. That's what I was gonna say. I'm not censoring uh, anything. Uh, let's just go here. And next dungeon is gonna be much more interesting than anything we've run into thus far. And the one after that is is gonna be uh, well strange at least, if not interesting. We found ruins. Let's not go there because it's probably dangerous. Just like this place that we just accidentally got stuck in when we got lost. Uh, these are bunches of uh, snap jaws, which makes me think it's not so terrible. And there's also an incredibly powerful guy here for us. An equi... an equimax by their neutral. So, we're just gonna leave it alone. Uh, I'll show off some of the uh, strategies to use when you get lost. And, uh... Whoa. Carrying too much to move. Well, that's great. Let's drop some of this stuff that's not worth carrying. Like this. And... We didn't even use any of the uh, torches. Uh, that's good enough. Who cares? Um, oh, did he drop anything nice? Yeah, he did. So we're just gonna grab some of that stuff. Not all of it. And we're just gonna run away. When you are trying to not get lost, uh, it calculates... It chooses whether or not you find your, where you are uh, every time you change maps. So it's always good to go to these little corner areas, uh, accidentally run into a salamander, which, oh, that's not so terrible. Uh, not as bad as a horned chameleon, which has the same symbol. So we're just going to try to stay at these border areas and accidentally run into a uh, legendary guy's lair, 
uh, running into a lair gives you experience, which is why it's always good to go to a lair if you run into that. We ran into um, ruins, which is very similar, but not quite the same. We got 675. Just like if we went to a lair normally, we're just going to go there and leave. So, legendary enemies tend to be stronger than normal enemies, and they can also have various ab nice abilities, like uh, some Snapjaw legendaries have uh, the ability to spit fire at you, or not spit fire, uh, summon fire. Close enough. A certain ability that I'd like to get with this character. We failed twice! That has never happened to me before, I think. I don't know, I don't have perfect memory. Um, let's just immediately not be able to do that. Okay, let's just immediately waste time. And, hooray! Uh, Tam, the trader, has changed his uh, inventory stuff, so he might have something nice. And our guy, we didn't really look at him all that much, but he also sells some things that uh, we can buy. But those tend to be uh, tinkering type things, which we don't really have any uh, use for. So before we, well, not now, I mean, well, later on we'll want it, but Let's talk to this guy and see what he has before we bother picking up all that stuff. This weird artifact, very expensive, probably not a grenade, probably something nicer than a grenade. And a carbide battle axe. I don't know why, but it seems like carbide battle axes are the most common carbide got things for Tam to uh, stuck up on. In fact, usually, you could, not usually, a good amount of time you could start the game off with uh, him having one, and then you get enough stuff to just immediately buy it, like we're about to do right now. And because we're smart, we are going to do something that I often forget to do. Unequip what you're replacing and use it as one of the things you're selling. Or trading for it. So, we're going to look for that uh, carbide battle axe. It's, a, it's a pretty expensive, but luckily we overstocked on things anyways. Uh, just get all this stuff. We don't need any of this. See how the lover's blossom? Very valuable. Double, almost double uh, a kudzu stem. Or exactly double. I'm not maths. Uh, we are. I might consider selling this guy, but I'll hold off on that until we actually uh, know whether or not we want to sell it. Let's keep two torches. I always like to have two torches. And oh yeah, we have plenty of weapons to sell. Eight. Daggers, yeah, we we are gonna be able to buy this. We might be able to buy that weird artifact just just to uh, satisfy our curiosity and see what it is. Freezing things tend to sell for a little bit more, just like um, willowy things tend to sell for a little bit more or cost more from a store. But usually that tends not to be uh, so important in deciding what is worth picking up to sell and what's not. So we're just racking in the money here. Uh, wow. Yeah, this 14 stabs. So, you can already tell, probably, that we are going to be able to just buy a good amount of things. Uh, short bows are worth picking up because they could sell for a lot. And just for uh, the fun of it, let's see. This is the total value of everything that we are willing to part with. But these trading goods, especially the beaded bracelets, are uh, very nice for their... Uh, dram to weight ratio, so I tend to keep them in place of uh, actual drams of water as uh, something to trade. So I'm not going to actually trade them away. And yeah, we, we, we can probably buy much more than this. Uh, we're going to have to take some things off because he can't, uh, or he might be able to trade us uh, a fair deal with this. Uh, let's go a little bit into the point drams. When trading, you never um, you can never give someone or receive a portion of a dram, so it'll always round. And obnoxiously, it will always round in the trader's favor. So if we try to go through the deal right now, he says he doesn't have 207 drams. We want to do it anyways. No. Uh, yeah. Let's pretend that he had 207 drams. Uh, if we add that lead slug, he still is offering us 207 drams. Let's add a bunch more and he's still offering us 207 drams so one thing about this game always good to try to go for these low cost dram things and just up the price so that the point value is about the same a little bit less so that 
you get the most out of the deal. You don't waste these point drams. You go a little bit over, it's actually going to decrease the number by whole thing. We don't want to spend an extra dram on one lead slug, so uh, I go for lead slugs, slugs instead of the other uh, ammo because lead slugs uh, can be used for some pretty nice uh, guns that we'll run into a little bit later on, hopefully. So let's just uh, lower this a little bit. Uh, just randomly picking things. To be quite honest, I'm not doing anything strategic. Um, hold on a second. Can I get that close to... Let's see. Offer him, and he's going to give us 137. We go a little bit lower. It's still 137. Sometimes he's offering... He'll... He'll uh, say cost 0.35, but it really cost 0.352 or something like that. And then we are offering 0.351 drams. So it, it doesn't display it, but it's going it to cost us that extra dram for that tiny little bit. So it's always worth checking the little bit under it, and then whatever number is the same as your number, if that ever comes up. Uh, this seems to be the only stuff that's worth actually buying from this guy. He doesn't have any nylon backpacks or anything which he does stock up on uh, a good amount of time. So we're just going to rob him of all of his water and have him thirst to death. That definitely makes sense, thirsting to death. So we're going to see what this weird artifact is. And it's a semi-automatic pistol. Good thing we got all those, um, the one lead slug. Good thing we got all those one lead slug. Uh, that's what a uh, semi-automatic pistol uh, uses, lead slugs. And I generally get these about in Gritgate, which we're going to be running into hopefully very soon. So, tons of water, more than we want to carry. Let's drop most of it. Uh, we're going to carry, again, 30 drams. Coincidence, that's the same number. I would prefer something like 20 drams, 15 drams. A little bit lighter, but it doesn't particularly matter. Better over than under. And we're going to try to get rid Oh, we can actually equip that. We don't have very many lead slugs, though. I'm considering trying to buy some lead slugs from this guy. I'm actually going to do that. Um, yeah, let's do that. Give him one dram. And we actually solve two problems at once, because now uh, we're, uh, we're carrying around 29 drams to the 30. Still weighs 8 pounds, though. Uh, so now we have tons of lead slugs. We have a semi-automatic pistol. Let's load it, and it gets 16 lead slugs. And we can fire that with the F button, and aim it at our friends for no particular reason. Take that, uh, Tam, is what I would say, if I actually wanted to kill you. Uh, actually, let's, let's uh, turn all these auto pickups off so that we can uh, drop stuff here without automatically picking up this stuff, and I didn't realize auto pickup was already off. It's not so good. Generally, it's better to have auto pickup on, I think. Uh, oh, we never actually equipped that either. That would be pretty dumb if we went to Grit Gate without that. Uh, we kind of want to have a nice weapon for Grit Gate, considering that it's very dangerous. Grit Gate, Grit Gate, Grit Gate. Keep talking about it, not doing anything with it. Probably doesn't exist. I'm probably making it up. So, he says, wire, give it to me. I'm a jerk. Fine, if you're going to be a jerk, I'll just give you some wire and feed your uh, rudeness. Beautiful wire. Oh, th oh, you're talking about the wire. I thought you were talking about me. Oh, it's so mean. So he's going to give us 500 experience uh, for some reason. He's able to give that. And a jumper, jumper recoiler. Jumper recoilers. Oh, he also gave us a um, small trinket inside of it. So let's be silly and accidentally break the small trinket while we try to see what it is. But a job or a coiler is a, uh, or any recoiler, allows you to teleport back to a town. Oh, very low. 